Hello everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. So today we are decorating for Christmas. I'm so excited. Obviously I already decorated my room back home, but we are going to decorate my place here in Dallas. And I can't wait. I've never had a tree in my apartment before, but this year we are doing it. I found a great tree on Amazon. It's white and it's pre-lit, which is my favorite. And we are just gonna make this place look so, so festive. I haven't bought a ton of decor just because the storage in my apartment is not ideal. So I didn't wanna buy a bunch of stuff and then not have anywhere to put it. But I bought a few little things. And yeah, I thought maybe later we could go shopping too, just to get some more smaller things. Like I don't have any Christmas coffee cups or anything like that, but I think we're gonna put up my tree first and see what we need to fill it out. I don't have any like special ornaments for my tree because those are all back home. So I just kind of have your basic ornament set and then I bought some bows and then I have my ornament that I bought at Disney that I'll put on my tree that I'll show you. It's so cute. We'll start off with putting up the tree and then seeing what we need from there and then maybe go shopping. I wanna go to Target and home goods. I really want to go to Hobby Lobby, but there's not one in like Dallas proper. It's, I want to say like 20, 30 minutes away. I do have an event tonight that I'll take you to. It's going to be so fun. It's for a wedding dress brand and a wedding ring brand. They're collabing. So I'm going to get to go to that tonight. But because of that, I don't know if I'm going to have time to go to Hobby Lobby today, but we can always go tomorrow. So first things first, let's put up the tree. Okay, so my tree is gonna go right here against the window, but I have my record play right here on an ottoman that holds all my records. So I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna put that. I can't decide, because I need a outlet to use my record player. I might could fit it right here beside my TV. So I have this little space between my bookshelf and my TV stand and it does have an outlet. So I'm gonna try to put it right there and see how it goes. I feel like it's just gonna be really crammed in this little section, but for the Christmas tree, we'll make it work. Okay, here she is. This box looks really small for the tree that I thought I ordered. So it's gonna be interesting. Maybe it's vacuum sealed, which is fine. Um, I think I'm gonna have to lay it down. Is that what I took for the order? What am I saying? <laughs> Is that the right way to open it? Um, sorry, my coffee's going. My tree is kind of blue. <laughs> it's like cool white. Hopefully the lights are warm. Maybe it will help a little bit. Here's the bottom, I think. Ah. This tree is so blue. <laughs> Why does it look like this? What the heck? This tree is janky, y'all. Maybe that's why it was so cheap. This just says that a Christmas tree needs to be fluffed for 120 minutes. Supposed to fluff for two hours? That's a lot of fluffing. This is looking a little rough. <laughs> why does it look so sparse? I mean, maybe that's part of the fluffing, but I just don't even feel like there's enough branches. <laughs> Why does it look so sad? I'm determined to make this tree work because by the time I take send this back and get a new one, I, it's not even gonna be worth having one because it'll be so late in December. I don't know, it's so ugly. <laughs> Why does it look like that? I'm gonna spend the next little bit fluffing and see what I can do. And we'll see. This is so disappointing. <laughs> Okay, I just fluffed this little section right here, and I feel like that is a little better, so I have hope. But I am going to turn a movie or something on, because it's going to take me a while to get this looking right. <laughs> I just really want a tree, and this is the one that I have, so we're going to make it work. I think I can make things beautiful, and we're just going to work a little pink Lydia magic on this tree and make it beautiful. <laughs> them bells and frolic oh by gosh some stolly eggnog gin and tonic make yuletide gay and jolly same procedure every year i just can't get enough i drink till rudolph reappears i toast to him that red nose dear 
jingle them bells and frolic. It's the best day of the year. Is Mr. Darcy in this movie? Is that him? Oh, I Hours and minutes till the last week of December. For me, the Christmas spirits flow as early as September. It's the best of seasons. Come and raise your glass and sing. No need for other reasons. Glory to the newborn king. I drink to Santa and his helpers too. Here's to mistletoes and here's to you. Jingle them bells and frolic, come, let's sing and dance and cheer. It's the best time of the year, the best day of the year. Yes, it is the best day of. Definitely looks better. It definitely looks more full. Um, it's still like a little blue, but it's okay. We're gonna put some paint decorations on it and we'll be fine. I'm wishing that I had some sort of garland. If I had like a pink or gold garland to kind of cover up some of the holes that are still left. Where the branches go into the tree is black and so you can see it really easily through the tree. Um, but let me show you my decorations. So I have this box of rose gold ornaments. There are different sizes, different patterns. And then, oh my gosh, my hair. And then I have my bows, which are beautiful. So I might start with the bows and then fill in with the ornaments. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. I think she's looking very pretty. Um, so for my topper, I bought some point shoes to put on top. I just got these from Amazon. They were like $20, so I don't think they would actually be very good to dance in. You can hear how hollow they are, but they would be very cute on top of my pink bow tree. If I fall, I'm glad this caught on camera. <laughs> to the top of the tree but I feel like it's cute yeah I like it and then last touch is our tree skirts I have this cute faux fur one 
Oh my gosh, it came with a fairy Santa keychain. That's so cute. bring it down so you can see okay you can see a little bit better so i brought out some shopping bags that i just had kind of as decor around my apartment and i thought it would be cute to put under the tree as the presents since i am not from dallas i obviously have my christmas back home in kentucky so i'm not gonna have any of my real presents here i normally just ship them home or if i buy them here i'll just take them home in my suitcase because it just gets a lot to try to take home. And if I wrap a present here, it's not gonna survive in the flight. So I'm just gonna do a couple of little fun things. I'm gonna put some white tissue paper in this bag. Very cute. Let's put her right here. And then I brought out my Amaranth Patisserie bag. This is from Disney. This is the Patisserie and Disney Springs. And I was there just a couple days ago, so I brought that home with me to put underneath my tree. Fix this just for a little bit. Cute. Let's put her under here. And then I have this little mini Carrie Hess box that my phone case came in, so I thought that would be cute. As you can tell, I'm a major hoarder and I keep everything, but I just think boxes like these come in handy sometimes. And now I can put underneath my tree that right there and then I have my flossy by Freddy box that I thought I could put underneath my tree too I don't know if you're gonna really be able to see it though this one might be a little too big yeah I don't know if I really need that or not I feel like we just three in the front it looks pretty cute and there's the bottom of the tree I think that looks really cute and here she is Here is the beautiful ornament that I got at Disney. It's a Cinderella storybook. And listen. Just wait for it. Oh, I just love it. It goes through a little bit more of the story, but Oh, I just think she is so, so beautiful. So I'm happy to have her. However, my little blue ribbon is not gonna work <laughs> with my tree, so I'm gonna switch that out for a pink ribbon and then hang her on our tree. I think she needs to go in the front. I don't know where in the front, but somewhere in the front. Maybe right here. Okay, I found a ribbon to tie and here she is, front and center. Okay, it is 2.30. I need to start getting ready for this event at 4.30, so I think I am going to try to go to Target. Maybe Home Goods. Maybe I don't have time for Home Goods. I'm going to go to Target for sure and do a little bit of shopping there. I also just have some other stuff that I need to get at Target too, so I am going to do that, and then we'll see how much time we have. Is it bad to go like this to Target? I just don't want to change, so I'm going to be changing into my outfit tonight. I feel like maybe it's fine. I mean, it's just joggers and a sweater. It's pretty fine, right? <laughs> the longest least productive target trip I think I've ever done I don't know what my deal was my brain was not working like it should have been so I was going all over the store when I could have gotten like so many things in one section and then just moved on my brain was just all over the place so I had to go back to different sections and backtrack so many times oh my gosh I don't know what was wrong with me 
but I got pretty much everything I was looking for. So well, one thing that I didn't mention before is that I wanted to do our fifth day of our 12 days of giving back at Target because we are doing toys for Toys for Tots. If you've never seen the Toys for Tots bins, basically they just ask you to donate new unopened toys and basically they just go to kids at Christmas and they will normally have Toys for Tots bins at large businesses so sometimes Target will have one at the front of the store or Walmart will have one and you can just go and pick out a couple toys to donate to Toys of Tots. You can pick out one toy and spend $10 and donate to Toys of Tots every little bit helps. So I wanted to show you what I got. I was majorly into the Barbie and Disney section so I got a couple of things. First I got the new Little Mermaid doll. <gasps> How cute is this? I don't know if I've mentioned this on the channel, but I was obsessed with the new Little Mermaid. I went to see it in the theaters three times. I just loved it, loved it so much. And so when I saw that they had her doll, I just had to get it because I just know some little girl is going to love this. So that's the first thing that I got. And then in the same section, I got the Cinderella doll. How adorable is she? I just love her. I love her little dress and her bun. So that is the other thing that I got. And then I got an actual Barbie because they had a ballerina Barbie. And obviously I had to get the ballerina Barbie because how adorable is she? I just love her tutu and her little outfit and how her arms are bent so that she can do a little pirouette and she even has like Barbie point shoes on. Oh my gosh, I love it so, so much. You can see it on the back. She does all the ballet moves and I just hope that some little dancer gets this Barbie and she absolutely loves it. I am going to take those to my local Toys for Tots drop off and hopefully brighten the little Christmas season for some kids. And then I also got a couple of things that I will show you. A lot of it was just like household stuff that I needed, but I did get the Native Candy Cane Body Wash. I didn't actually smell this in the store. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I love peppermint and minty scents, so I figured I would like this, and I'm obsessed with all the Native Limited Release body washes. I loved the candy collection that had like the gummy bears and the strawberry taffy, and so this is my Christmas one. I obviously won't use all this before Christmas, but like mint is a scent that I like all year round. It's just called candy cane to be cute. So I got that. So I went in specifically looking for a Christmas candle, not sure if I was going to find one, but I saw this. It was all by itself. I had no idea how much it was. I wanted one that smelled like a Christmas tree, but that wasn't just your normal Christmas candle. And so when I saw that they had it in the tree form, I knew I had to have it. So it opens up like this, and then you have the candle. And I love the smell. It's called Forest Fur. So it's just your basic Christmas tree candle. And I think this is gonna look so cute with all of my Christmas decor. And that was pretty much about it. Again, I just got some other like household stuff that I needed, boring stuff. But since that took so long, I do not have time to do anything else. I've got to start getting ready for this event and I'll take you along, of course. I'm excited, I think it's gonna be a fun event and I have to pick out an outfit. So let's start getting ready. Here is my outfit. I went with white boots, this little sweetheart neckline dress, tennis necklace, and my Zach Posen bag. I wear this bag so much in the winter and I have other bags, but I just love this one. I feel like it goes with everything. So that is what I am wearing. The dress code was smart, stylish, casual. So I, this was the best I could do. I wasn't sure what that meant. <laughs> so we are often going to pick up my friend Emily and off we go. Well, I'm all for Christmas. All the happy smiles and the wishes. And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. you're missing I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow whatever we do we will be all right these holiday wonders will open your mind may all your wishes tonight come true the love I live the dream I knew this Christmas I only want
Well, I'm all for Christmas. It's a magical time full of kisses. Take a walk outside and tickle the snowman's nose. Moving nimbly, did you hear something from the chimney? I will keep you warm as soon as you. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. How beautiful is my tree? She's a cutie. Me sticking my finger in front of this camera. Every single day, this is happening. <laughs> I have already had my breakfast this morning. I just made my coffee. So I'm gonna drink that. And then we are finally gonna go to Hobby Lobby today. The problem is Hobby Lobby is like 30 minutes away and I hate driving. So my finger looks so weird on this camera. Yeah, we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby. We're gonna take the trip, do the drive and find some cute pink Christmas things because I need a Christmas coffee cup badly in my life. So that's what we're gonna do. And then I have a couple errands to run. And then I have a couple more things to decorate my apartment with that I didn't do yesterday because I spent too much time at Target. So that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna get ready and drink some coffee and go to Hobby Lobby. Made it to Hobby Lobby. I stopped off to get some food because I was getting really hungry and I got sweet green. I don't know where I am right now. I don't know what this area of Texas is. It's not Dallas. It's north of Dallas, I think, but there are so many restaurants in this one area. There's a Shake Shack, Sweet Green, Asian Mint. There's a pizza place. There's a ton of stuff. There's a Jenny's ice cream. I'm like, what is this magical land? I love it here. But I got a salad from Sweet Green, and I'm so sad because I asked for shrimp. That was always the protein that I get on my salad. And she said that they're not carrying it anymore. She told me that they have salmon now, and I've tried their salmon before, but last time that I got it, they said that they couldn't mix it in. I have no idea why, but that's the best part of Sweet Green is that they mix your salad dressing in for you, so everything's all together. So I got tofu instead. I'm gonna be so sad if that's true and they don't have shrimp anymore. Hopefully that means that maybe they'll start mixing the salmon in. I like salmon on my salad, but I just want it all mixed together. So I'm gonna eat this and then we're gonna go shopping. My gosh that was so successful i love hobby lobby i wish i had one closer to me i could have spent all day in there just going through the aisles it was just such a different shopping experience than yesterday i feel like i was stressed yesterday and i didn't have enough time and my brain wasn't working and today i just went through every single aisle i think i literally went through every single aisle and just found the cutest stuff i can't wait to show you what i got there was so much more that i could get but i didn't want to go overboard so i kept it slightly minimal but I'll show you everything when I get home. Haul time. Oh my gosh, I just love Hobby Lobby. It's just the best. I always find the best things. And I'm gonna show you everything, but I got all of this for $50 because it was all 50% off sale. And not actually not everything, but most of the Christmas stuff was. And just some other random sections were too, so. Yay! <laughs> the first thing I got was a throw for my bed. 
this little faux fur pink throw so I have a throw similar to this on my bed at home and I wanted one for my bed here and I had ordered one online and it came in and it was really really soft but it was super thin and just wasn't giving the look that I wanted it to give so I got this one because I just thought it was the perfect pink color and it was fluffier than my other one so I think this is gonna be what we need and I do need to show you my bed because I have a Christmas pillow to put on my bed so that can be our little decorations for the bedroom there were so many ornaments that I liked, but I just felt like I like my tree how it is and I felt like if I was gonna get special ornaments I needed to get a bunch of them so it wasn't just like two or three on my tree so I didn't get any ornaments I might end up regretting that but I also thought maybe it would be even more on sale if I went after Christmas so we'll see I got a couple of Christmas mugs because that was the main thing I was looking for so I got this one oh, how cute is it it's a little gingerbread house with a pink door and it has the topper I've seen a ton of mugs like this and I really wanted one for myself I'm gonna try to open it so you can see so it looks like that and you just sit it on there it's got little pink dots right there too and I just thought that was the cutest mug ever and it's big I'm a big coffee drinker and I need large mugs for my coffee because I like a big cup of coffee so I thought that one was perfect this one how cute is it it's a pink little Christmas puppy how cute is she so I saw this mug right when I first got to Hobby Lobby but the one that I saw had a big chip right here and I was just like it's gonna bother me if I get the one with the chip but I really want this mug and I found one more in the whole store and so I got it and you will have seen I found that it had a matching cookie jar and I almost got that but I don't think I would ever actually use a cookie jar it would just be for decoration and I honestly don't have a ton of counter space in this apartment so I didn't feel like I needed to take it up with a cookie jar that I wasn't going to use but I did have to get the mug because literally how cute she she has a little sweater on a little hat on and some mistletoe and a little tongue sticking out <laughs> I love this one this one might be my favorite this one is a little ballerina one again had to get this one they all have different dresses on I don't know if it's supposed to be the nutcracker maybe this is Clara and this is sugar plum I don't know who the red one would be maybe one of the Russian dancers or something but I just still thought it was so cute and Christmassy and again a good size all these mugs were good sizes which I really appreciate so I got that one so so happy with that they actually had one in a similar style that actually did have nutcrackers on it and it was red on the inside and green on the outside but it didn't have any pink on it and I just need my Christmas decorations to have a little touch of pink to really go with my apartment because I have no red or green in my apartment including my Christmas tree so I just thought that one worked and I think it's gonna look really really cute this is not a Christmas decoration but I could not leave without this when I saw this I was like I must have it oh my gosh it's Cinderella's carriage it's a little pumpkin carriage that actually rolls and then it's almost like a Fabergé egg because you open it up like this and it has space to keep a ring or earrings or whatever oh my gosh this was only $12 and I was like yep you are coming home with me because you're adorable the only thing is that it is very easily wheeled and so i'm gonna have to put it somewhere where i know it's not gonna like wheel off in the middle of the night and one scare me, as i'm just saying that my washer sound like it's about to take flight um one where it's not gonna scare me if it falls off a shelf in the middle of the night and two i don't want it to break so i'll have to find somewhere to put it but i just think it's beautiful it is made like a little pumpkin and then the inside oh my gosh I am completely obsessed with this. It's not Christmassy. It's actually probably more like fall since a pumpkin, but I love her. And then the last two things that I got were spatulas. So this is the same little ballerina that is on my mug. So it's a little matching set. And I do need new spatulas, especially like baking spatulas. So I thought this one was really cute. And I don't mind using this all year round. I don't think I'll just keep this out at Christmas. Because I feel like it's a little fairy. It's a little ballerina fairy. And it does have snowflakes on it, but still, I think I'll probably use it all year round. And then I went to the baking section and there were so many things that I wanted. 
but I controlled myself because there were just too many other things that I wanted to get and I didn't want to go overboard. So I got another spatula, but I really like this one because it clips onto the side of your bowl. So you can clip it on and it won't like drip down onto your countertops or you'll have to sit it down on a spoon rest or whatever. And it just clips right on. So I did need new spatulas. That's why I actually was looking for this one. And that was my Hobby Lobby haul. I am so happy with what we found. These mugs could not have been more perfect. I can't wait to drink hot chocolate and my coffee and my tea out of them and yeah that was it i am probably going to put everything away and do a little cleaning around my apartment i also want to go to the gym and walk on the treadmill for a little bit and then we're gonna make dinner and then i think i want to watch a christmas movie and we just have too many things to do it's already five o'clock i gotta get going <laughs> So I think I am going to start cleaning up a little bit and then I'll take you to the gym with me because I just want to do a like little workout. Yay for Hobby Lobby! Dinner was delicious. I made pasta with tofu meatballs and it was great. I did a good 30 minute workout. I just walked on the treadmill. I don't know if y'all have seen that girl on Instagram that does the treadmill struts and she makes playlists where basically you start out at a base pace, like 3.5 or whatever, and each song you add 0.1 or 0.2 to your speed and it matches the like cadence of the song. I absolutely love doing it. I think it's so much fun. I did the Ariana Grande one today and I did the Pitbull one last week and they were really fun and it makes it go by really fast. I feel like you are wanting to strut and you're wanting to like match the song. So I really liked it. But I wanted to show you my last few little Christmas touches. So we have this tea towel that my sister got me for my birthday. How adorable is this? And I love that it has red and green in it. So it's a little Christmassy. So I just have that on my oven. And then I went ahead and put away my Christmas mugs. You can see my little ballerina one back there, but I just think they look so cute. I love it. And then I have Mr. Nutcracker right here. This frame, my friend got me for my birthday and I ordered a picture to go in it and I actually need to go pick that up. So it'll be all complete once I get a picture in there. Now that I'm realizing, I probably should have done a Christmas picture. That would have been kind of cute, but I didn't even think about it. I have my pink Christmas pillow. Again, I got that for my birthday. Everyone was giving me like cute Christmas stuff for my birthday, uh, which makes sense because my birthday's on Thanksgiving. So got that. And I just added the throw that I got at Hobby Lobby today. And I think it looks very, very cute and cozy. And then I have a wreath on my front door and we are all set for Christmas. I am very, very happy with how everything turned out. I feel very festive. I just love looking at my tree. I'll show you again. The way that the light reflects on the window just love it. I think that's going to be it for the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to donate to your local Toys for Tots. Again, you can find them online. You might even be able to search Toys for Tots on Google and put your city in. They might be able to tell you where um, some drop-off bins are. I'm not sure if that's the case or not, but maybe. And yeah, thanks for watching. And I will see you in two days with Vlogmas Day 6. Bye!